Hey ho guys and gals, it's Jeff King here, back again here in the old den of tools. And today we are talking about emergency backup generators because, yep, it's that time of year again. We got all sorts of stuff going on. We got, uh, you know, weather like the hurricane coming into the Gulf that's going to be, oh, that's going to do a lot of damage. We know it is. And you got to be prepared for some power outages there. We got Believe it or not, I know it's we're still in September, but we're around the corner here. I got snow on the mountains across the way. It's coming. We're going to be seeing winter storms coming. And of course, if you're like in states like, did did you write the server through California again? Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, get blackouts. That's what's going to happen. Anyway, so we're going to talk about open frame generators, which are going to be like your that's going to get you the most bang for the buck, if you would. If all you want is as much power for as little money as possible, the old school open frame generator is going to be the way to go. Fortunately, you're going to, there's going to be a ton of sound. And we saw with issues that's been cropping up. You know, there's a huge crime wave going on. You're running a big, loud generator. That just screams, there's money in my yard. Come and take it. Another option is an inverter generator. Now, this is a, a, an open frame generator that's had an inverter. And most people who see inverters, they think of stuff like this. What it is, is it takes DC power, turns it into AC power, and runs it usually through a modified or even sometimes full sine wave uh, inverter. Now, the way, reason that's good is modified is okay. If you're just running power tools, big, heavy kind of things that aren't, aren't delicate electronics, modified will be just fine. If you're running laptops, cell phones, anything with a microchip in it, really, you're going to want to go pure sine wave. Because think about it, as that wave is flowing through, that modified one, it's better than <laughs> no modification, but it's still like hitting a brick wall each time it hits one of those waves. And it's just not great. I'm oversimplifying it, but it's not great on the electronics. So think about that. Now, whoops, skip forward there. Then that leads to the third class, which is the full in uh, a fully enclosed inverter generator and this is what they call also called the the super quiet these are going to be your best bang for the buck uh when it comes to i i don't want to build an enclosure i don't want to have this but i want to, i want like you know <laughs> as much discretion as possible i don't want to be listening to my generator all the time uh these are just a great way to go and that's honestly what we've done with most stuff for our family now the fourth type we're going to be talking about is AKA the battery in the box, sometimes referred to as a solar generator, more appropriately referred to as a power station. If you don't have solar cells hooked up to it, it's not really a solar generator now, is it? But we're gonna talk about a few of those here at the end. So let's jump into it. We're gonna start off with the big boys here. This is the simple open frame, they're gonna be loud. They, they're they gonna be loud, understand that. But this is gonna get you the most power for the least dollars. And we're looking here at the Duromax, okay? Now this is, as I said, it's open frame uh, generator. You're looking at a max of 1,200, or 12,000, my bad, 12,000. Okay, now remember, most of these generators are rated at a starting wattage and then a running wattage. And the running wattage will, it can vary about how far below it is, but 12,000 is pretty good as far as a starting. You're probably going to get, what I think we're like a thousand running on this. Let me double check here. Uh, 9,500, a little bit lower. Now, what you are going to get from this one that you don't get from a lot of them is you're getting dual fuel. Now, this means you can run it on propane or you can run it on gas. If you do run it on propane, you're going to lose some power. Just be aware of that. Also, if you're running at altitude, now we're up here in Montana, we're about 4,600 feet where I live. We're going to lose a little bit of power from that as well. If you're up even higher, you're going to lose even more. Just be aware of that. That's going to apply to all of these across the board. But look, normally we're looking at 1350 on this on sale right now at the old Walmart there for 1099 Now, another one to consider, Champion. Now, we just back up real quick. Duromax, not a big name brand. Um, I've heard of them. That's the, the most I can say about them. Like this. There's only so much we can test here. But what I do is I get a lot of feedback from you all. We have 208,000 uh, subscribers. We have over 54 million total views. And that's all the comments and stuff. And I read all the comments, folks. And on top of that, we have a Facebook user group with over 100,000 members. So not only do people reach out to me directly via email or through Instagram or through Facebook, I have all the comments and everything we read through. So I get a lot of feedback from people. I've heard a little bit about Duramax. Never heard uh, anything negative, but haven't heard enough really to, to say one way or the other that this is definitely the one you want to go with. Now, $1,100, it makes a pretty compelling argument. Let's see what else we've got. Champion. Now, we have a lot of fans of Champion on the channel. I hear a few negatives every so often, but, you know, any brand's going to have that. No, 
Nobody's going to be perfect, not even myself. And at, uh, you're looking at $1,029, you're getting an 11.5 starting, 9,200 running. A little bit less, but you're getting a better name brand. You got electric start on this. Um, you're not getting the dual fuel, okay? So you're getting you're giving up some of the features there and a little bit of the power to get more of a name brand. Uh, next up is Westinghouse. Now, I will say this, Westinghouse, that's a, especially for us older folks, um, you know, I'm in my early 50s here. The uh, Westinghouse is an old school name that we've heard for years. Not that Westinghouse. Same Westinghouse, not that Westinghouse. At this point, Westinghouse is a zombie brand, uh, as we call it around the channel. Basically, it has died and has been resurrected, and they slap their name on anybody who's willing to pay the licensing fee. So, uh, but that said, lots of great feedback on, on their products. Now, as far as getting service and stuff, there's no like Westinghouse support area that you're going to go to and everything. They're going to help you. They're going to uh, contract through independent uh, places that go through. So your service is, is I would say it's av not, not average. You know, that's kind of a stretch. I would say it's it's questionable. How about that? But you're looking at $1,000 here for a 9,500 uh, running. Uh, or, or sorry, yeah, 9,500 running, 1,250 peak. That's often what they call the top one is peak rated. And it's dual fuel. So look at that. You're getting both of those there. And you see the nice thing about the Westinghouse is they do two things that I really appreciate. If you look up at the top, they show the running first. And I, I really appreciate that. That's some honest advertising. On top of that, they show you the gas versus the propane. So you can see at a glance what you're getting from this. Again, it's open frame. It's going to be loud. But for $1,000, that's a lot of power and a lot of flexibility in that. All right. And then we have this one, which is, uh, this is Pulsar. Pulsar is another one of these ones of, they're a name that's out there. They're a brand that's been around for a while. They're definitely a bargain brand. Uh, they're not a, not what I would really call a name brand, so to speak. Uh, but you're looking at a 12,000 running or 12,000 uh, peak. Uh, I think it's a 9,500 running. Uh, and you're looking at a dual fuel on this for $800 with electric start. Again, you know, it's in your, this is again at Walmart here. So maybe you got a little bit of, of backup there that you're getting it through Walmart. But that said, just just consider that when you're buying these, you know, is name brand, is support going to be a big issue for you? Or do you just want as much power and many features as you can get for the dollar? All right, keep on moving. Now we're going to Harbor Freight here. Now I'm going to have a whole bunch of Harbor Freight sprinkled through this because they're an excellent baseline, okay? They are often, well, it used to be that Honda was the baseline. But look at this. You're looking at a 9,500 uh, uh, peak wattage there, uh, Fully enclosed inverter. This is a super quiet. This is the one my family keeps for our home backup, all right? Paid cash for it ourselves. If you, for those of you who are new to the channel, I have a long-standing relationship with Harbor Freight. Nothing's paid sponsored, but they do send us a lot of tools over time, uh, over like the last four years or stuff. So uh, this is one, though, we bought ourselves with our own money because this was the best I could find out there for the buck at the time. Now, at that time, it was like $2,000. So that was three years ago. Price has gone up. But that said, here's how much a Honda is going to run for you. You're looking at 7,000 peak. So you are, <laughs> you're losing power. And uh, let me come down here and make sure that we got the numbers on this right. Surge wattage is 7,000 peak. Rated, that's the running, is 5,500. So a good bit lower. And you're looking at five grand on that. And... Everybody and their brother has done testing over the past, you know, decades since Predators come out. And Predator is, it's quickly replaced Honda across all the RV parks, all the camping spots. There's a few people who still run Hondas, but nine times out of ten you see a red generator. It's going to be a Predator. It's not going to be a Honda. Uh, go look at Consumer Reports if you don't believe me. They they rate them par for the course for each one. Uh, and I feel, that, and I think if I remember correctly, they rated the Predator line uh, the best bang for the buck. Now that said... This is a great generator. I love this generator, but there's some other options out there. Now, let's take a look at this one. This is the Duramax. We talked about them before. And if you're looking at it, you're like, hey, man, that's the same generator. Whoops, <laughs> same generator. And it's not. It's close. The case, the, 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 the body of it is clearly the same. But if you look at the faceplate on it, this is a different faceplate. It, it's got different options and stuff. It's got similar specs and stuff, so it may share a lot of the DNA but uh, you can definitely look by looking at, at this one. We got four there on the Facebook. You got three access points on that. It's less. Now you're looking at $2,099 though. You're saving 
quite a bit of money. Now, is that, are you going to get that back? Is Duramax going to be somebody you're going to be happy with? Well, one thing I, w I do want to talk about, actually, I'll talk about it in a minute here with Harbor Freight, but we'll get back to that. There are other options. We also have the Gen Max. Now, don't be confused. Black and orange like this, starting with a G, it's not Generac, okay? This is a totally different brand. They're clearly trying to, you know, to use a little bit of that name branding there. $2,400. I don't know any reason I would go with this one, but I just want to throw it out there that it's out there just for comparison. And then we also have the AI Volt. Now, this is a, a 10,000 watt generator here, fully enclosed, super quiet. $2,300. Not a single review on it online. I've never even heard about it uh, before uh, doing the, the prep for this video, but I had to throw it out there because it looked interesting. It's the first time I've seen it. If you've worked with, or if you have one of these, and you've got some experience, uh, what, what you think about it, let us know down in the comments whether you think this is a good generator or not. Also, let me know how long you've been working for AI Volt. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Harbor Freight, we're back to Harbor Freight. Now we're looking at the Open Frame 9000. So we've stepped down from the 12,000s, we're down to the 9000. This is what I consider to be the standard, usually go to home generator that most people. You can go to the 12,000, you can go, but you can go as big as you want, really. But the 9000 has been the standard. And this is what my family used to have. Okay, we bought one of these, we bought it new from Harbor Freight, and we bought the, the extended warranty, the two year extended warranty on it. Here's a secret. It's not really a hack. It's just not, it's a feature. It's, it's a corporate policy that they just don't really talk about. And that is if you buy a generator from Harbor Freight and you get the, any product actually, and you get the extended warranty on it, if you decide during that time period, like we got the two year one and I think it was a year and a half in, I was like, you know what? They just came out with that new fully enclosed version of this. I'd really like to step up to that fully enclosed inverter one because this is just a standard open cage. No inverter, nothing. I really like the other one. Well, guess what? Because I have that extended warranty, I can go in and I can trade up. All right, you can't uh, you can't trade down, but they will let you trade up. Now, of course, this is always going to be at the local manager's discretion uh, because they want to see what you're bringing back, make sure you haven't driven a tractor over it or something like that. But that said... If you buy the extended warranty, you do have that secret trade up option. And that's what we use to pull the trigger to go from this up to the uh, the fully enclosed version. Now, as far as other versions, here's one of the downsides with, with Harbor Freight. They realize that people have now appreciate the quality of these generators. It's, it's not a question anymore. They're out there. Everyone knows it. Well, the price has gone up. Now, of course, we can blame tariffs and COVID and all that other stuff, but I uh, Part of it is just the fact that they can charge that much because people know the quality. So let's see what else we can get in that 9,000 running or starting, max starting peak. It's what, 7,250 running on this. Well, here we've got the champion. Again, we're talking the black and yellow here. 9,375 starting peak, 7,500 running right in the same ballpark. Nice style generator, good quality. Everything comes with, a, it's a two or three year warranty, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, $715. $715. Again, there's not a champion store you're going to take these back to for service, but there are service centers that you'll get, you'll call, you'll get authorization, you'll take it in or send it. If you have to send it in, yeah, you might as well buy a new one because that thing's a giant boat anchor at that point. You're going to spend almost as much on shipping there and back, but uh, maybe they'll cover it for you. I don't know. I even had a deal with Champion's customer service. If you have and you know how Champion deals with the customer service, put it in the comments down below. I'll pin it so other people can see what's going on. But anyway, still $715. That is a nice discount from $900 for the Harbor Freight. Now, another one was, let's check out the Westinghouse. Since we're here, we've got to talk about the Westinghouse. Now, this is a single fuel, not a dual fuel. You're looking at $713. Again, you're looking at 9,500 peak, 7,500 running. Uh, but guess what? It's got the little clicker. It's got remote start. If you're too lazy to go out and start your generator yourself, hey, you can just hit the little clicker on it and go. Which for an emergency home kind of backup, stuff like that, maybe that's not a bad idea. If you're an RV, and, and let's talk about RVs. If you are running a big RV, you're on a 50-watt circuit, okay? So the way you figure out how much power you're going to need is you take that, that the, how big the circuit is versus how many uh, how much power is coming in. Well, you're plugging it into uh, a line that's got 110, right? So you're looking at 50 amps on that. So uh, let's see here. 50 times... 110, you're looking at, you want to be at 5,500 uh, peak and running. You're basically at the same on that. So this is going to be, have more than enough for any kind of 
uh, of trailer that you might have, but actually it might be overkill at that. Now here's another option, 713 for this, you want to spend a few bucks more, jump up to 789 and you can get the dual fuel. That's the difference between these two. Look in the lower left, there's nothing down here. And then we click on this one and now you can see the propane access right there. So you get the dual fuel here, the 7500DF. And you see right below it, it shows you gasoline 7500 running watts, propane 6750. So you lose, remember you do lose a little bit by switching to propane, but if you're like in an RV, You've already got propane right there. You can run it right into it rather than have to keep running back to town for gas. All right, now let's talk about the next level down. We're looking at, this is like the bargain, uh, the average bargain home backup kind of thing. You're looking at 4375 watt gas. Uh, now these are all the new uh, generators from Harbor Freight are CO secure. I will give them that. You're looking at $500 for 4375 peak, 3500 running. Uh, just double checking my numbers, make sure I'm right. Let's see what else is out there. Well, well let's look at the Westinghouse. Dual fuel, <laughs> what do we got? 4650 peak, 3600 running, dual fuel for 383. That is uh, 383 for five, and now you, this does not have the wheel kit and stuff like that installed. So you're gonna have to get the wheel kit on there. Um, the wheel kit here is gonna run you a bit more because it's not on sale. Uh, so you can jump up to 584, but even still, that is, yeah, that, that, that is just not even close. Now let's take a look at the wind. Wind live, and we got a lot of fans of the wind generators here. Uh, 325. Now again, this is open frame, no inverter. This is going to be the loud kind, but loud but cheap. All right, and at 325, that's a decent amount of power for for that. Okay, and a lot of these, and I don't know about this one in particular. But a lot of these generators, let me see if I, I see it. I don't see it on this one. A lot of them can be linked up to run in parallel. And that's something you definitely want to consider also. All right. Uh, almost all the inverter generators you can. Now, if you want to go super base, bargain basement, Sportsman's. They're cheap. They're basic. They run. And I've heard a lot of good people, a lot of people saying good things about them as far as, far as cheap power. And if you look at this. It's dual fuel at $300, $299, sub $300, and you're getting gas and propane options, $3,500 running. And that's what you're going to want for a basic if you're running on like a camper like we have. Now, we've got a, oh, what is it, a Salem 30, it's listed as a 32, the actual feed is like 36. It's got, it's a big trailer, but it's still running on a 30 amp circuit. Well, 30 amp times 110, you're going to get 3,300. This is going to be running at 3500 on gas, not propane. It's going to be a little less on propane, but that's going to be able to, you're going to be able to run your RV on it loudly. <laughs> and if you want to go really cheap, the Sportsman Sandstorm, gasoline only, not carb approved. Don't take this to California. They will arrest you at the border. Anyway, $269 though. If you want cheap power, this has got to be the go-to for cheap power. I'm going to have links for all this stuff down below if you're interested. All right, now the next category is the 3500 Fully closed, super quiet. All right. Now, Harbor Freight did send me one of these, uh, but uh, we were, we're we're only in our RV, uh, you know, uh, probably less than six months out of the year. Uh, we bounced back and forth ar around the Western U.S., but we got friends who full time, and I wanted to give this thing a test, so I gave it to our, our my buddy Rick uh, and his wife Kelly. They're in a fifth wheel now. Before he'd been running. In fact, I gave him the option between this and another one, and he chose this one because he loves the Harbor Freight so much. He had the one that's a step down from this, and it just wasn't enough to run their AC and everything. But he got this one, and I got to check with him because he got a soft start on his big. He's got the 15,000 uh, BTU. He's got two or three of them. He's got a fifth wheel uh, car hauler or toy hauler fifth wheel. And he got the soft start uh, on the ACs installed. So we're going to be checking out, checking in with him probably in a month or two. Uh, he's headed down to uh, down south, I think down Yuma Way. So we're going to try and make a trip down there and, and hang out. And I'll give you an update once we get there. Uh, but anyway, we're looking at 3,500. That's the peak. Okay, running is going to be 3,000. So it's pretty close, fully enclosed, super quiet. This is the gold standard for, for your basic RV generator. It's got the 30 amp plug. You plug your whole generator right into it or your whole camper right into it. Now options here. Well, let's look at wind 642, 642 versus $900. Price has gone up on this $900 or 642 versus that. You're looking at 3,800 
uh, peak there. Uh, and what we got? We got electric start. We got the whole nine yards. This is a good generator, guys and gals. I, I'm, I'm not going to say that wind is the best company out there. Uh, as far as service, I've had issues with them. But a lot of people said that with the generators, they've been much better than that. Uh, 640, that's a hard That's a hard one to ignore. Now, we're going to talk about another brand that this, this gets interesting. So, check this out. Now, this is a 3200 watt. Now, look at the size of this. The size of this, these big cubes, right? Well, somehow they've managed to get a 3200 uh, watt generator into this compact suitcase here. Now, this is the uh, GM 3200i for $600. There's a coupon on it right now. You click that little coupon there, knocks another 50 bucks off. So now you're looking at 550. You're down from from that to 550 on this one. Now I have not tested the Gen Max, but what I have tested is the Max Speeding Rods MXR 3500. They sent this to me not too long ago. Now that was the one that I I had at the same time as I had the Harbor Freight one, and I offered both of them to my buddy. He's like, no, I'm gonna take the Harbor Freight one. So I still have this one. In fact, it's in the back of my pickup truck right now. I'm about to loan it to a friend who's going camping for a couple of weeks up here. You know, it's uh, it's that time of year for deer camp. Uh, so anyway, uh, for you crazy bow hunters, uh, anyway, the rest of us have to wait till October, I think, uh, late October. Anyway, five ninety six hundred dollars for this. It's an ultra light, ultra quiet, fifty two pound, and I will say this: it's super quiet and it does a great job. And I was really impressed, but you know what? When you look at these two, if you look at the case, now this is listed as 3,500, so there's clearly something different going on inside, but they're definitely sharing a case on this. In fact, they're sharing more than just a case if you look at the front panel. I mean, granted, the graphics are different on the right-hand side, but that's the same front panel, if you ask me. But that said, the if I had to choose between the two, let's see, 550 for that or 598 for a, few, a little bit more, I don't know. I've used the Max Speeding Rod. They did send it to me for free, so take that for what it's worth. It's got CO2 detect, which almost all the new ones are going to have. Does this have CO2 detect? Um, ultra quiet compliant, eco mode, gas mode. Uh, maybe I missed it, but I, I'm not seeing it there. Anyway, a lot of people complain about it. If you set your uh, your generator up right, uh, make sure you don't set it right next to where you're staying. Don't put it in the house. Don't put it in the garage. Don't put it right up against your camper. Set it far away. And make sure you set it with the prevailing winds or carrying the exhaust away from the generator, okay? All right, let's move along. Again, if we're looking for a budget, Sportsman's, guys, 3,500-watt generator, $550, but dual fuel. So, again, we're back to that power cube kind of setup there. Uh, but uh, And that's not going to be a, a light generator, right? You want to get both paws on that sucker. Uh, but anyway, the, I've had lots of people say that they love these things. They're real rough and tumble with them, and they keep working. Oh, anyway, just real quick, here's a, a setup right here. They're showing you with them linked together. That's what you can do with most of these. You can see here, right here above it, it says parallel output. And if you see those, the A and B, you can do that. And you can mix and match generators. You don't need the same brand. Here's another thing, and you don't even need the same size. You could connect a 2500 and a 3500, but the max you're going to get is the combination of the lowest one. So it's going to drop it to the lowest one and then double that. So that's going to get you a 5,000, just a heads up. Now, reasons you might want to do that, well, consider this. What if you have, say, let me come back here, two of these. You take two of these, you put it together, you're looking at, was that, six, 7,000 watts of running power. Well, why is that good? Well, A, if you're in a camper, you may not have the size to put a big generator like something like this. That's a This thing's a beast of a generator. Here, let me show you with a person. I loaded one of these into my truck by myself, and uh, that was, I mean, when it was still in the box, so it was hard to hold and everything. That was not fun. Uh, anyway, if you get two of these things, now you've got two suitcase size ones. My son can pick up one of these. He did. He just recently, he's the one who put it in there. He picked this up, and we got a four by four pickup, so it's not, and he's, he's, uh, he, how tall is he? He's like five foot. Uh, so he was able to pick one of these up, put it in the back all, all by himself. So if he can do that, it makes it easy to lug, easy to load up, lets you vary in storage. Also, if you're going to go run off and go camping for like overnight, the weekend, something light duty, and you don't want to carry the giant generator with you, you can split them up, just take one of them. Anyway, and if one dies, you have another one still running, Okay. So anyway, that's the, there is a real strong argument for running two smaller ones rather than one larger one. 
All right, now in this category though, Carbon Freight doesn't really cover it. There's some slightly bigger ones. Let's look at this. We got the Champion here. Champion's coming in at $749. That is still cheaper than the Harbor Freight there. This Champion is 4,500 watt starting, okay? And it's got a remote start on it as well. This is the newer version of Champion. It's been updated and upgraded and all the, the fine, you know, the fun stuff here. $750 down from $1,000. A lot of people have been jumping on this one lately. A lot of people have been jumping on that one. So, uh, and then we got a new one. They actually just, PowerSmart just sent this to me. I haven't had a chance to really go through it with a fine tooth comb. Just basic stuff. So far, so good. I like, one of the things I like about both of these is rather than going with the tiny wheels like you see on the Harbor Freight, and those are actually, it lets you roll it around, but it's a real pain. All right. But instead of doing that, what they've done is they've done larger rear wheels here, as you can see on that. And then this, it's hard to tell, but that front faceplate, you see that silver part at the bottom? That's a handle that lifts up so you can pull it like luggage. And then on the Power Smart, it has the same thing. It actually has an extending handle up front. And again, it's got the bigger wheels in the back. I've moved this, this thing around a lot, and I'm, I don't know why every generator doesn't do this. That is just a no brainer at this point. You got to start doing that, guys and guys. If you make generators, this is the way, okay? Anyway, $800 on that one. And then <laughs> Max Speeding Rods is not done. They now have a 5,500-watt generator, $4,000. Now, granted, that is $100 bucks more than the Predator. It's just currently on sale down from nine, nine, $30 off. But you're looking at $3,500 versus $5,500. That's a significant jump in power. Uh, and again, it's got the front, it's got the extended handle up there. It's got the bigger wheels down below. Um, and it's got all the features. Look at that. that it's got a ton of options and power and whatnot. Um, and anyway, so that's maybe something you want to consider. All right, now let's get down to the small ones. And we're talking about the 2000. This is what my buddy had before when they started. They are full-time. They've been doing full-time now for like a year and a half, I want to say. Anyway, $620 is with the current price on Harbor Freight. And yes, you can dual link these as well. So that's going to get you up to $4,000, which is not a bad idea. Now that said, let's see what else we got. 2,000 watt, super quiet, CO secure. Okay. Wind's coming in with a 2,000 watt all, uh, portable inverter generator, fuel shutoff, carb compliant, ultra lightweight. I don't see the CO secure on this. It does have the link, so you can, you can pair them up. $343. 343 versus 619. That is, mm, that's a hard argument to make. I mean, I love me some Harbor Freight. You know, how, how, how well do I know the people at Harbor Freight? For those of you who are new to the channel, well, when they hit 1,000 stores, they, they gave out these hats. And, you know, they like you enough to send me one of these hats. I'm going to say this. I love the Harbor Freight Generators. That's what I bought. Um, but if I'm buying something like this, that is a hard choice to make right there. All right. And we got the Gen Max coming in at 369 plus a 20% off coupon on that one. Oh, let's see what else we got. And the Westinghouse, or not Westinghouse, sorry, the champion, not really being as competitive, 489. It, it's less than the Harbor Freight, but definitely way more than the Win or the, the Gen Max. Now let's talk about the other side of the fence and the other side of the fence. Let me Take that off. The other side of the fence is this Blue Eddy. Uh, we're talking about power banks here. This is a battery in the box, and that's exactly what this is. There's different types of batteries. Some of them are lithium ion. Some of them are LifePo. This is a LifePo battery. The LifePo batteries don't condense as much power into as small a package as the lithium ion, but it's close. But they also, you know what they don't do? They don't explode. They don't catch on fire and go crazy and aren't as volatile as lithium ion, much less lithium polymer. They're a good, stable battery. On top of that, they have 10 to 20 to 30 times the recharge capacity. So if you can recharge, that means cycle, like power down, recharge, power down, recharge. If you can do that 100 times on a lithium ion, you can do that 400 times probably on a life pot. They have way more uh, recharge cycles on it. So anyway, you're looking at here though, but way less power for the money. Look at $300. Now you're going to save 60 bucks to clip the coupon. And Blue Eddy's one of the top two brands in this field, if you ask me. Um, and you're looking at 600 watts. 
Now, 1200 surge, 600 watts. So you're not going to be running a giant AC off of this. But you can run a CPAP, you can run a refrigerator, you can run a bunch of electronics, you can charge all your cell phones, your laptops, stuff like that, and you're going to get pure sine wave power out of it at that price. Now, stepping up in power, we have the, the Blue Eddy here at the 800 watt here, uh, 716 watt hours, 1400 peak there, and you're going to get four outputs, you're going to get a lot more, it's basically the same thing just bigger $569 on that you can tell I'm a big fan of Blue Eddy now one that we're stepping away from the name brand and that's EBL but not quite stepping fully away from them because EBL has been known for years for making rechargeable like double AA, A triple A you know, rechargeable batteries they they're a battery company they just started making power stations as well they sent this to me for review I've got a video coming on it out on it typically these small boxes like this I'm usually kind of iffy about it sorry if you can hear the train we live in a train town anyway the point is that this is my new go-to carry with me every day throw it in the back of the truck I don't care what happens to it uh, it's got the charger on top for your cell phone I can just set my cell phone on it uh, it's a thousand watts of power with a peak of 2,000 I can start smaller air AC units with that smaller like the 110 window unit kind of stuff I got a buddy who's got a teardrop and he could use this to run his AC off of it um, it's a little tiny thing, but still you can do it. You can run heaters and whatnot. This thing's got a ton of power for the size that it has. Uh, you can throw a couple solar panels on it. You can get all sorts of, uh, you know, flexibility with this thing. You got three quick charging and one, uh, one PD 60 watt. It's not a hundred watt. I know everyone wants the hundred watt. 60 watt is fine in most cases. You're not using this as a rapid charger for your laptop. I need to plug it in for five minutes and have full power. This thing, if you're taking it with you, you're going to have it with you anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it's sitting there. It's going to run, it's going to keep your laptop running for as long as you need it. Um, and anyway, I just, I was a little overwhelmed with it. Now, $900, you're like, that, that's a ridiculous price. I'm not paying $900. Except there's a coupon here, $400 off, taking this to $500. 1,000 watts, $500. That's, that's a lot of power for that money. All right, now. EcoFlow, they're the other number two in this category, right? They have lots of great tech out there. The EF EcoFlow here, we got looking at 882 watt hour, not quite a thousand, but this is an excellent portable power solution here. Uh, you're not going to power your whole RV or something off of this, but you look at $750 on that. Plus, you can take another 50 bucks off with the coupon there. They have some extra savings you can get as well as you buy other stuff from them. But here's another option. Over on eBay, we got a refurbished version of the 1,260 watt. So this is a step up for less money. It's factory refurbished, sold through eBay's new refurbished program, which has a bunch of guarantees tied to it. It's sold directly by EcoFlow, so you're not buying it from some third party who got it, you know, gray market or something. And as, as I look at it with a lot of uh, refurbished stuff, they found the thing that was weak that broke. So they fixed it. So this is better than new as far as I'm concerned. Seven hundred six ninety nine dollars for that much power. That's, that's, a, that's a tough one. I mean, anyway, let's move on to the next one. And this one, this is Blue Eddy. Okay, now full disclosure, Blue Eddy did send me this device. I did not buy this. Uh, I hadn't heard about them before. This was some time ago. I've been uh, using this for over a year. Just recently got into the whole power station kind of thing. Uh, this thing's just phenomenal. This is huge power. Look at this. 2,048 watt hours. Double that. More than double that for peak power. I can, I can start any AC unit off of this. In fact, it's got a 30 amp uh, plug there. I can plug my whole, and I have, plug my whole RV into it. Just plug the whole thing in and go. It powers everything in the RV. This thing is phenomenal. It's not cheap, $1,900, but that is 10% off. So if you can get a deal. It hooks up to Bluetooth. You can control the whole thing with your phone. You can put solar on top of solar on top of solar on this thing. You can charge it via solar, via power at the same time while using it. This And it's got charging ports on top for your phones. You can sit them on the, This is, I, I don't want to say the Cadillac. This, this, this is the the Mack truck of, uh, uh, or probably like the Volvo truck of power supplies. If you've got the money and you want super quiet, portable power, and this one, I we used to keep it with the RV. Now I keep it at home because uh, there's cases where I don't want to run the generator and I just want to run this if we have a power outage. This is our first go-to. 
the generator we say for if this won't last through the one or two nights or three nights of, of power because I can plug the pretty much the whole house into this thing. All right. Anyway, the uh, and, oh, and one other thing, if that's not enough power for you, you can plug up to two of these extension batteries that are each 2048 on top of that. So you can have a three or was it basically three times that like you can plug all there. You can plug all that. You can run all your power equipment off of that. You can run your whole shop off, off of that. And I know people who do anyway. So I just want to go, let me know what you think of this video. Do you like buyer guides like this? Does this help you find what you're looking for? Did I answer all your questions? If not, put in the comments down below. As I said, I like to read all the comments if I can. Um, also, don't forget to chomp the old like button. Smash that subscribe. Ring the bell so you get all the notifications for everything else. Because we got Black Friday coming up, which means all the sales are going to start dropping between now and then. You don't want to miss out on them. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.